Hello Gemini, welcome to Growth Nitu Tarot and this reading is from 21st of July to 27th of July. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love. Best chance for... Gemini. Five of Swords, Death, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Queen of Swords. Okay. So, Death. This person has not come to terms with what has happened between you two. Especially if it's a breakup. This person is not ready to believe that this is going to stay for long. Okay. This is someone who is not doing much to save this relationship. Who is possibly giving you every reason to leave. And um, still wanting you to stay. Knight of Wands is talking about someone who is really fond of their comfort zone. Who is actually taking things really slow because they think that you can wait forever or you have got endless patience. So, you know, whenever they would be ready, they can take things ahead no matter how you're feeling, no matter how um, ignored you could be. Like, even if they're not reciprocating your love, you are going to love them back. You are going to wait for them. This is what they were expecting. And now, this death, this pause in this relationship or this breakup is kind of, um, you know, unbelievable to them. I mean, Five of Swords is talking about someone who couldn't appreciate your efforts. You were fighting to save this relationship. You did everything you could. And they simply didn't care. They simply didn't pay attention to what you were going through. They might have... Um, they might have become insensitive and now with this ten of wands this person is feeling like a lot of burden is on them okay burden of um, pain the pain they are feeling because of the separation burden of guilt because uh, whether they accept or not their soul knows what they have done they know what they have done so there is this guilt that they have not made the right choice also with this Ten of Wands, this person is also aware that you were carrying those Ten of Wands in this relationship. Till you were there, you did everything to make this relationship successful. You did everything to continue this relationship and this person was simply watching. Or they were testing your patience. So, now you are done. This person can see it clearly. In fact, they are kind of intimidated after seeing you in this Queen of Swords energy. This person knows you are a threat. They know that you want something. Okay, to believe that they actually love you. Because they couldn't reciprocate your love. They never made you feel like you are the priority. And um, now, nothing less than a commitment will work. Or nothing less than a genuine effort is going to change anything. So, this person is looking at this Queen of Swords and they are wondering how strong you are and um, from where you are getting this kind of strength this person is wondering um, how can you resist this relationship because they know that you actually love them they know that it meant a lot to you this relationship was everything for you and um, you were so connected to them emotionally so this is an act of courage to cut that connection off, to uh, remove those emotions from this relationship and um, think practically. So this person is wondering, what gives you that much strength? Though this person forgot that you are this queen of swords, that means you have got your principles and morals and um, that are not going to be sacrificed for anyone or for any reason. And of course, this person forgot that 
this queen of swords is loyal and she deserves that and she knows that very well okay so this person is now aware that they cannot keep you there no matter what they do if they're not serious about this relationship if they're not uh, reciprocating your love if they're not loyal nothing else would matter no matter what they offer or what they say so this is kind of intimidating because um they feel like now you're out of their hand, out of their reach. They cannot um, find you once again. They cannot love you once again. They cannot be back in this relationship. So reconciliation seems to be an um, impossible dream now. And this person is off it. Okay, that they might not be in the right place in your eyes. Like you don't trust them anymore. You don't believe that this person is worthy of your love. Of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. So, let's go ahead and check some more messages for you. Messages for Gemini. Nine of Cups in reverse. Strength. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So finally we have the strength here. I was expecting it. This person is feeling defeated. Okay. Of course this person thought that they are this lion. They are this uh, person full of confidence and strength and uh, of course they can control anything and everything but now here they have discovered something really really heartbreaking and that that is that you are quite strong you can obviously um, control your feelings for them no matter how hard they try to manipulate you or to uh, convince you that they are in love with you if you're not um, ready for it like if they have given you some reason to not believe it you are not going to believe it okay this person knows that you are strong enough to deal with anything in fact eight of pentacles is talking about something that is not um, okay um this person is actually trying to focus on other things because um they are afraid that after what you have seen things are never going to change Two of Pentacles is talking about something that is about to reveal itself. If you see the snake, it's shedding skin. So you can obviously see the snake more clearly. So I think this person is not aware that you can see who they are. Okay. Um, with this Knight of Pentacles, like it's Knight of Pentacles actually, this person is feeling... Um, Things are now in your control. This person is now feeling like they are at your mercy. If you choose to, you can approach them. If you don't want to, they will, they cannot do anything. We also have Nine of Cups in the world. So this person is also feeling that whatever they wanted is already lost. Because, um, you know, once you choose something, you stick to it. And this time this person believes that you have chosen yourself. You have chosen to walk away from the negativity so they cannot bring you back this person is now realizing that maybe they become too toxic sometimes and um, that hurt this relationship that made this relationship worse so this person is feeling that for now they should wait and see what happens next let's check in our echo message for you Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. So the card is telling you that you need to um, offer whatever you have. Maybe it's some kind of positivity. Maybe it's some kind of help. Like you don't have to help someone in particular or do something in particular. Um, if you get any opportunity or if someone needs your advice or any kind of help 
go ahead and um, do whatever you can once you put love into the universe it comes back in many folds okay and that is what this card is trying to tell you so it's about loving everything around you for now okay so that you can attract something better in fact whatever you have put into the universe whatever love you have offered in this relationship it's going to come back to you in some way so this was the reading for this week i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye